There is something truly visceral about the sound and feel when doing this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Wood Chips in Black Steel. Before I get started, I want to stress that I no longer work for Ruger Firearms. I retired after 44 years. They don't support the channel and I don't represent them in any way. The reason for this video is I've been in this business all of my life. I am a certified pistol, rifle, shotgun instructor, and I have been instructing for over 35 years. So I'm coming from this from that perspective. The firearm that we're talking about is the Ruger three screw single action. One year ago, I posted a video on these Ruger three screw revolvers. It's gone on to be one of my best performing videos, but like everything that seems to do well on YouTube, it just invites that many more comments. Now, a lot of the comments were useful and things that I probably could have covered differently, but the premise behind the video had less to do with how to carry these revolvers safely and more to do how to retain those original parts should you send the gun into to Ruger for a conversion. Because from a collector's standpoint, those guns that retain the original parts are valued more in the collector's market. And that was the chief reason for me making that video. But because of the comments, I wanted to go over a few things before I let it go. Now I had several comments regarding how I recommended the tradition of carrying these old revolvers down on an empty chamber. And that led to some interesting discussions. Um, now one guy suggested that I was careless in my recommendation because his belief was that it wouldn't take much of a tap to make that gun go off. Um, okay. Now, if you haven't seen that original video, I'll put a link down in the description so that you can go back and watch that and then I'll put all of this into better context. So I wasn't all that worried about the comments because I figured that I had covered those safety aspects pretty well. Now, I was pretty content with that decision until a good friend of mine, Rick, walked into, into the store now, Rick also worked with me for years at Ruger. He worked in the tool room and in product development. So Rick comes by this with some, some pretty significant um, background as well. Now, Rick reminded me that the old three screws had a safety notch that isolated the hammer from the firing pin. And I went, crap, I forgot all about that. So the purpose of this video is a redux of that original video and I'm simply going to point out that these three screws do have that safety notch and I had forgotten all about it. To put it into the safety notch, the hammer simply comes back one click. So that first notch engages that safety sear. That second notch releases the cylinder, allowing you to load the chambers. And that final notch engages the firing hammer sear, which allows you to fire the gun. Another interesting comment that I had was that these guns actually have four clicks because I mentioned in the first video that it had three clicks. So being curious, I went down and grabbed both of these revolvers that were in that original video, and I started pulling back on the hammer, listening for those clicks. There's the second one there is a small or slight third click followed by the fourth click that this viewer mentioned. That third click is really not a click. What it is is the, the um, cylinder engagement latch actually gets released and comes up and taps the bottom of the cylinder so that when we finish that revolution, it actually can engage the cylinder latch. So one, two, three is that slight tap of that latch coming up and hitting the cylinder. And there's actually another smaller one, and then four, five. So if you wanted to really count all those clicks, there's all these little clicks that are occurring. But the only three that matter are that safety latch, the release for the cylinder, and then engaging that final sear. 
One is the safety latch. Two, releasing the cylinder. You can hear that latch come up and tap the bottom of the cylinder. And then finally you get the fourth one, which is engaging the uh, cylinder latch itself. But again, the three that matter are the safety, the safety notch, the release, and then engaging that sear for firing. This short video was intended to describe that first safety notch that I left out in the first video. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. I'll see you in the next one. Lord, sometimes you just got to